Hello friends, this video on polymers part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We will talk about rubber. Rubber is used a lot. Right. So rubber, there are two types of rubber, natural rubber and uh, artificial rubber. So natural rubber you get from the tree like this. The tree, uh, you get this rubber material and from this actually you get rubber. So the natural rubber, the chemical formula is polyisoprene. Okay, and this is actually long chain of molecules of isoprene. Okay, so isoprene is nothing but the, the IUPAC form of isoprene is 2 methylene, 1 3 butadiene. Okay, 1 2. Methyl 1 and 3 you have double bond, 2 to 9. This is structure of isoprene. Isoprene is a common thing actually. Isoprene or 2 methyl 1 3 2 to 9. This is the monomer of natural rubber. Natural number when it is it was chemically observed in the lab, it was found that it's nothing but polyisoprene. Okay, it is long chain of isoprene molecules. It possesses elastic property, we know that. Uh, rubber has this elastic property and it's also called elastomers because it has elastic property. Okay, and this rubber is manufactured from latex. This is latex. Latex is something which you get from plant. This the latex is nothing but the colloidal dispersion of rubber in water because the water has the tree has a plant, uh, tree has a water also, this plant has a water also, you can say. So it is the colloidal solution of rubber in water. So latex is nothing but colloidal. Solution of water and rubber. Okay, and this latex is obtained from the bark of the rubber tree. This is rubber tree. Not from all tree you get, only from rubber tree you get rubber. Particularly in Sri Lanka, a lot of rubber cultivation happens. Okay, and please note in case of the natural rubber, cis isomer of this 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene is taken, not the trans. Please note, one second, this is going to be critical here. The cis isomer of this is taken, not the trans. So, if we talk about the rubber, this I told you is a, a polymerization of cis 2 methyl 1 3 2 butadiene, you get this. So, you get rubber as something like this CH2. CH2, double bond here, this is H here, this is CH2 here, and these are linked. You see, there's a cis, both are on the same side, and the bonds are on the same side. This is cis. This is natural rubber. Okay? You see, CH2 and H are on the same side. This is cis, in fact, this is CH3, sorry. CH3. Well, this will form a bond. This will form a bond, but it will make sure that these this hydrogen and this methyl they are missing side. Correct? Okay. Please note this cis. This is the important. In fact, we'll take one numerical. We will talk about the importance of cis and the trans uh, isomers. Both will have different structure. If we talk about this, if we talk about the trans, for example, the same structure I will make in this fashion. Okay, I'll take one H here and take one CS3. Now CS2 is here and CS2 is here. Now if you see the bonding is in this fashion. There's a difference. In this case, bonding is in this fashion, both are in the lower side. In this case, bonding is in this fashion. One this side, one this side. And both of these have different strength. We'll talk about that. We'll talk. Just understand this. This is the natural rubber and this is the cis version or the trans one. And uh, the value of n you see here, this is actually n. A lot of molecules of these are added, and the value of n is very high in the range of 11,000 range. Okay, and these are held together by weak van der Waals force of attraction. Okay, I mean, there are n number of these layers, and these layers are held together by weak van der Waals force of attraction. And typically, this is like this is one layer, there will be one more layer here.
okay, like this. So these layers will be held together by weak water wall force of attraction. So it can be stretched like a, a spring and thus exhibit elastic property. Okay, that is natural rubber. And you see the rubber is used in a lot of places. It is used to make rubber stamps. It is used to make the rubber erasers, in the, which is used in the school. And rubber bags it is also used to make tires. But the natural rubber is not that hard. It is soft. Okay, it is soft and it is soft at high temperature, almost 300, 335 plus temperature, it is soft and uh, at low temperature is brittle, it is not uh, actually very good, okay. And also it shows high water absorption capacity, so it has a lot of problems, for example, it is a little bit problem with the natural rubber, right, it is, it is soft at high temperature. Let's suppose I say 330 plus, okay, number 2, it is brittle at low temperature, it says 280 minus, okay, number 3, it shows high water adsorption, it, it absorbs, high absorption of water, it absorbs water, okay, it is soluble, in non polar solvent okay it is non resistant to attack from oxidizing agent okay these are the problems we have with this rubber Natural rubber. So, to improve the quality of rubber, we follow a process called vulcanization. So, vulcanization is nothing but mix, mixing the mixture with uh, floor rubber with sulfur. Okay, so you mix sulfur with raw rubber. So, you have raw rubber, raw natural rubber. In this, you add sulfur and you also add some appropriate additive. And at a high temperature between 373 to 415 Kelvin, when you process this raw rubber, you get vulcanized rubber. In this vulcanized rubber, you have cross links at the reactive site of the double bond, and the rubber gets stiffened hard. So, in this type of rubber, typically we use 1 to 8 percent of the sulfur by mass because if we use more sulfur will actually destroy the elastic property of the rubber. So you see this is the structure of the rubber after uh, vulcanization. I am talking about the cis isomer, that's why I have put this uh, together. And this, as I told, this is how it is. CH2, CH3, CH, CH2, like this, right? So they are hindered by the weak water wall force. So now what we do is we add some sulfur. So now this, since there is a sulfur here, these sulfur make this rubber hard and thus this rubber can be used to make tires now and typically we use 1 to 8 percent of sulfur. If you use more, this will damage the elastic property of the rubber. We have to use sulfur only in 1 to 8 percent range, okay. So if we talk about synthetic polymer, uh, synthetic rubbers, synthetic rubbers are again made in the lab. And uh, they are either homopolymers of 1,3-butadiene uh, derivatives or this is homopolymer. Or it's a copolymer of again same thing 1,3 Buta nine derivatives plus some unsaturated right. So either it is a homopolymer of beta nine derivative or copolymer of this is a copolymer. 
of one three beta ion derivative plus unsaturated one. So typically we will study two kind two different type uh, two different uh, synthetic rubber that is neoprene and buna n. We will study these two synthetic rubber. If you talk about the neoprene, also called polychloroprene. Okay. So here you have this chloroprene. This chloroprene is polymerized to form neoprene. Okay, these bond breaks and polymerase. Okay, this is one, 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 two, three, four. This bond also breaks. This is uh, two chloro, one, three, betadine. As I told, this is the derivative of 1,3 butadiene. This is 2 chloro 1,3 butadiene. This is good resistant to vegetables and mineral oil also. It is used to make conveyor belts, used to make gaskets, used to make gas pipes, hoses. Okay. The next is Buna N. This is a copolymerization of 1,3 butadiene and acrylonitrile in the presence of sodium peroxide. Or ben, sorry, benzoyl peroxide or sodium. So this is one three nine. I'll take as it is. This now I'll take a cryonitrile. Okay. Please react in the presence of either sodium or benzoyl peroxide. It will polymerize and the output is H2 CH double bond CH CH2 CH2. H, and there is a CN here, and this will be N number of these. Buna N, let me write it once again clearly here. CH2, CH, and double bond, CH, CH2, CH2, CH, CN. This is Buna N. Okay, so butadiene is so bu. Na is for sodium, Na is for acrylonitrile. Also used in oil seals and for tank linings. All these oil tankers, this tank lining is done by Buna N. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.